Ow! <sighs> well, that could have gone better. Oh, what's going on, fellas? My name's Shining Armor. If you're wondering what that big slam was, well, I just got kicked out of my own house for the night. Listen, I don't know if you've ever messed up big time, but there's one thing you should never forget. You see, today is my wedding anniversary. Oh, you guessed, didn't you? Well, yeah. I may be captain of the Royal Guard, but I suck as a husband. Not only should I have never forgotten the day because, well, you know, it's our first anniversary. Our first. My first. And when your wife is the princess of love, this is something she will kick flank for. I'm not saying my wife is an overattached mare, but she can be a little too clingy sometimes. In a good way. I mean a really good way. <laughs> but sometimes a really, really bad way. I'll tell you about the bad way first. I remember this one evening. It was about a month after our honeymoon. I had a special task assigned by the Princess Celestia, which would take me the whole day and into the evening. Now first, this was a good day for me. Got a little bonus bits for the princess, and I managed to finish my mission a little earlier than I expected. Should have finished around 1.30 in the morning. Ended up finishing around 10.40 at night. But you should know first that my wife only allows me to work from 5 until 8. And then I come home to play hubby. So she was a little bad clingy that evening. I mean, once every 5 minutes I would have got a voicemail asking the same question but in a different attitude. Angry. Crying, worrying, happy, pissed, super pissed. Once every month sad, once every month angry. And the question would always be, why aren't you home? Anyway, uh, back to that night. Now of all nights, it had to rain. It was even more scary, all the lights in my house were off. And when I walked in the door, I heard... Static. That's it. But no TV on. Oh, shit. I slowly walked into the kitchen where the lights flickered on. Almost gave me a heart attack. And there, my wife slowly turned around in a chair with her robes on and with tears flowing down her eyes. Mega shit. And blah, 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 where were you this, and I missed you that. All the while, she was sobbing loudly. To wrap it up, she even went evil wife on me and dragged me into the bedroom. Uh, bad clingy. With a bright side, I guess. Anyway, uh, the good way. I was getting an award by the princess, I think. There was a big party for me afterward, and my wife was clinging onto my arm and bragging about me the whole time. She made us leave early for some reason, and for some reason she was all quiet on the way home, didn't even look at me. When we walked into the front door, she slammed me up against the wall and started making out with me furiously. She also whispered, you're all mine. Head into the bedroom, anyway, very good way. For both of us, I guess. <laughs> but that's pretty much my marriage. I love my wife, and she loves me. Uh, gotta make up for my idiot mistake. Might even get some tonight. It is my anniversary. Gotta remember that. Hope she can forgive me. Well, I've waited long enough. Sorry, guys, I gotta go. I I'll talk to you ponies later. Oh, and by the way, my wife's name is Cadence. Maybe I should get her some flowers first. It is our anniversary. Ah! Men! Why are stallions such idiots? Oh, hello 
there, ladies. Sorry you had to see that. It's just my idiot husband forgot our first wedding anniversary. Listen, I don't know if your cold friends or your husbands forgot your anniversary, but I feel your pain. I mean, I know it was an honest mistake, but is it really that hard to remember this one thing? After everything that happened on this day, do you know what he did? He walked into the house after work. I was waiting in the kitchen with balloons and a cake, and he just walked in, pecked me on the cheek, and sat on the couch and turned on the TV. For ten minutes, I stood there. My hope lifted slightly when he walked over to the counter and gave me a hug. My heart warmed up until he whispered in my ear. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? I exploded and took a slice of cake and threw it at the banner I put up saying, Happy First. How about some cake? I shouted at him. He was definitely shocked and was horrified when he realized what was on the banner and why I was angry. Celestia, I was so frustrated with him. And after everything I do for him, there was this one time a month after our honeymoon. I let him go out late with his friends, but I told him to be back by 10.40. He came back at 1.30! I waited for him in the living room all night, just watching TV. I poked my head out the window, but it started raining and my face got a little wet. And then, oh great, the satellite just went down, so the TV went static. So I tried calling him a few times so he could come home, but I only got his stupid voicemail. And 1.30 came around, and he got home. I went all worried wife on him. I took him upstairs because I was exhausted, and we got into bed. Apparently, he was a bit horny. He tried to come on to me, but I just whacked him in the you-know-where and told him to go to sleep. I just can't stand him sometimes. Another time, we were at my friend's house. It was a small party in honor of our wedding. But my husband made it feel like it was all about him, him, him. He went around the whole room bragging about himself, but in an innocent, fun way. The whole time I was grabbing his arm and apologizing for his behavior, he accidentally knocked over a candle and the party was over because of a small fire. So the party ended early and I ignored him the whole ride home. When we walked through the front door, I whispered, You do this all the time. But the perv thought I said, You're all mine. He pushed me against the wall and we started making out, and I gotta be honest, I kinda liked it. He lifted me up and carried me into the bedroom. <laughs> it was really romantic. Romantic. I forgot how romantic he is. That's why I fell in love with him. He may be forgetful, but that doesn't mean he doesn't love me. He's so protective. And he does have his moments when he sometimes might bring me flowers or go all Casanova on me. I really do love him. And he loves me. Oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> well, ladies, I have a husband to forgive. And get into bed. Shining Armor would like that. I mean, it is our anniversary. Cadence walked over to the door with an unamused look on her face. She remained quiet as she pressed her ear against the door waiting to hear what Shining Armor might have to say. At first, she heard nothing, then a rustling like some pony was going through the bushes. She looked through the curtains of the window next to the door but she couldn't see him. She was about to walk away but just then she heard another knock at the door. She stopped and pushed her ear against the door again. Cadence? Sweetheart? Can we talk? Listen, don't get the idea that I don't think this day is special, but I just want you to know... I know I shouldn't say this, but... I don't need one day every year to treat you special, because... 
I love you every single day. <laughs> Cadence didn't like his answer as she just scoffed and was about to walk away again. That's why I got you this. Cadence froze again and looked back at the door. She was curious and listened carefully, eager to hear what Shining Armor brought her. I know it's not great, but it is your favorite, and I just want you to have it and know how much you matter to me. Now Cadence was really curious to know what Shining Armor had. Apparently it was her favorite. Was it some kind of food? Was it a smoothie? Or maybe it was some movie that he wanted to watch with her. She slowly approached the door and reached for the doorknob. She turned it carefully until she heard the and gently pulled it open. And what she saw next made her heart melt and brought a tear to her eye. There Shining Armor stood with a fresh pink rose. He had a nervous, adorable smile and the flower between his teeth carefully so he wouldn't ruin it. And through his closed jaw, he whispered to her, Happy anniversary. Kaden oh. started to cry as she leaped forward and grabbed Shining Armor by the neck and pulled him in for a hug. She was fully sobbing, with Shining Armor patting her back gently. He nuzzled her, and she looked at him, him looking down at her, and they shared a loving kiss. Shining Armor looked into his wife's eyes. I'm sorry. He whispered to her. Cadence took the rose and placed it on the table next to the door. Don't be. She smiled as she pulled him in for another kiss. After they broke apart, Cadence grabbed Shining Armor and started pulling him up the stairs. <laughs> what are you doing? He asked playfully as he shut the door. Cadence only winked at him with a grin on her face. Well, it is our anniversary. 